Welcome to the Good Time Geigers. I'm Adam. I'm Bailey. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you what we take kayak camping. Uh, so let's get started. So why we decided to make this video is because we've been very busy the last couple weekends and we haven't been able to get out. Uh, we thought it'd be a good idea for people that are learning or trying to get into kayak camping. Uh, there is no wrong or right way to kayak camp. This is what works for us and we thought it'd give some people some good ideas on how they could start. Yeah. So first, the most important thing that we have is dry bags. We use four. <laughs> We have a 55 liter, a 30 liter, and two 20 liters. <laughs> They're all Ascend brand. We got them at Bass Pro Shops. Um, they range anywhere from $20 to $30. Um, they also carry a 10 liter, but that was a little bit smaller than what we wanted and needed. Yeah, and we didn't what really need a 10 us. liter one, so yeah. Brings us to the next item which is our Bessina tent. Um, it's, we got it on Amazon, it was about $60 when we bought it. Unfortunately, it's not um, available right now on Amazon, but it's great, we've, we've used it all summer now and we've had no issues with it and it's been pretty good. <laughs> Next is the sleeping bag that we use. We use something called Malami. It's, it's a great sleeping bag. It's not as compact as some people would like, but it works for us, like I said, we put it in the, the 55 liter bag and two sleeping bags fit in there, so that works really well. Yeah. This one was about, I think, $30, $35, which is really nice. Next is the Wellex sleeping pad. Mm -hmm. I got this off of Amazon as well. It is about $40 and it inflates really quickly. It's very lightweight and it's not that bad. Like sleeping on it, it's pretty comfortable. It beats sleeping on um, the beach where it could be a little rocky shelly, which is really nice too. Woo! Pillows. Um, this is a field and stream pillow from Dix. It was ten dollars. Nothing crazy. Um, it it gets pretty compact. It folds out to be like that. Um, it's not the most comfortable, but it's pretty cheap. And when you fold it over, it gets a little more comfortable, so that's good. It does the job. It does its job. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's everything that goes in the 55 liter bag. Um, and then we would move on to the 20 liters. So first we have a first aid kit, and luckily we haven't had to use it so i'm not really sure everything that's in it we're pretty sure there's tylenol ibuprofen we know there's band-aids alcohol wipes um everything that you would expect to be in a first aid kit that was about 30 dollars from best pro shop as well and next is our little cooking set this is also malomi brand um, it comes with a little pan a bigger pan a lid it also has a little spork um, it also came with two bowls and a wooden spoon spatula type thing. Which brings us to our next thing, which is the electrics, electrics. I um, don't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. E-Tech City uh, little burner. It's It was like $15. Again, another thing that's not available on Amazon right now, but it works great. It cooks all the water, or boils the water very quickly, and it cooks the food really fast. And it, it's really small, obviously it fits in this little container, and yeah, it works really well. Woo! And then to go along with that, we have the gas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember where we bought this or how much it was, but they're pretty much everywhere. I'm pretty sure we got it at Dick's, but you can get them anywhere. Yeah. Headlamps, we got the Black Diamond um, brand. I don't remember the lumens on it, but it works pretty well. It's $20 at Bass Pro Shop, and it we, works really well. We learned they're not waterproof, though, because we ruined one. Yes, so. I ruined one. <laughs> Bailey didn't do it. So, yeah, that's a pretty good one. And that's the 20 liter. Moving on to the 30 liter bag, that's where we put all of our camera gear. So, the drone, the GoPro gear, my DSLR, 
um, lenses that go with it, extra batteries, or a portable charger, just everything with that, and then clothes. We pack all of our clothes into that as well. Yep. Um, and then that's it for dry bags, really. We do have another 20 liter bag, but the only time we use that is when we're both going and we'll pack food and snacks and all the most important stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> So that, like she said, that's the last thing with the dry bags, and now we go into the stuff that we use on outside of the dry bags, which is a cooler. It's just a cheap thermos brand cooler. We got it at Target probably for 20 bucks, 20 bucks or yeah. so. Nothing crazy. Nope, it does its job. Yeah. Um, we also have a bilge pump, so when we get too much water in our kayaks, we can pump it all out. I think mine's the only kayak that really needs it though. Yours kind of does it yeah. on its own. Mine doesn't really absorb too much water. Nope. Uh, but yeah, this is $15 at uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Pretty cheap. Yep. Whee! <laughs> um, next we have our anchor. This we got at Bass Pro. Yep. We got it at Bass Pro. And we chose this one because of the little floaty on it. Not all of them had that. Um, but we just hook it to the kayak and dump it in the water. Yeah, this is about forty dollars from Best Pro Shop. Mm -hmm. Come in really handy. It does. <laughs> and lastly, this might be the next most important thing after the dry bags, but it's our speaker. Can't go anywhere without music. So we have this. It's by Ultimate Ears, and it's called the Wonder Boom. Um, we got it at Best Buy for like 80 bucks and totally worth it. It's waterproof, it floats, and you can connect it to other Wonder Booms to have multiple playing at once. Yeah, it's been awesome. That's what we bring kayak camping. Like we said earlier, it's not the right way, it's not the wrong way. It's really just what works for us. Um, I know I've seen other kayak campers who will use the smaller dry bags because they can space the weight out a little bit better they can fit a little bit more on their kayaks and i think the reason that this works best for us is because adam has um, a sit on top kayak so he's able to just pack more on and load as much as he wants on it and not really have to worry about it hmm. um so yeah so the last thing for everybody is when you're looking into what gear you want to bring kayak camping i think it's good to do a search on what other youtubers bring when they go kayak camping that's kind of what we did and where we got started and we came across Gatewood Brown who had a great gear video and we just kind of used his stuff and modified to fit our budget and what we wanted to do and we just went from there and it's been good for us so yeah so if you like this video and you want to see more of our adventures make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and as always it's a good time with the guiders see you next time